tenth plague on the firstborn, the Passover, affects those who will become the family heads. The sign of cancer is governed by the moon and rules the family. The actual date of the Passover is based on the phases of the moon. The beginning of the month starting at the site of the new moon and Passover celebrated 15 days after on the full moon. Abib was designated the first month. The calendar is based on the moon but the reader may question why I have placed the Passover as, part, as occurring in the month of Tammuz and not in the Jewish month of Nisan. The answer is simple because the actual date of the Passover is based on the most fearful god and date in the superstitious minds of the ancient Egyptians. Why then is the 15th of Tammuz so important? The clues are given in scripture. And thus shall ye eat with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Exodus chapter 12 verse 1. This initial ceremony of the slaughter of the lambs equates to the Egyptian magical rite of Zeph. Also we have a reference to Sirius, the sacred Nile star of the Egyptians, also known as Isis, the dog star. Shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel? Exodus chapter 11 verse 7 Why then is Sirius the dog star so important to the liberation of the Israelites? It is because the sun overshadows Sirius once every year preventing its light to shine. During this period, the Egyptians never buried the dead because they believed that their way to the gods in the afterlife was blocked. It was for them a most auspicious time. The day of the conjunction occurs on the 4th of July, that is the 15th of Tammuz. The Lord killed the firstborn on a night calamitous to superstitious Egyptians. Moses was told by the Lord to gather lambs for Saul's slaughter on the tenth day of the month, which is the tenth day after the new moon of the first month. The position of the moon in the heavens on the tenth day would have been in the constellation of Scorpio, governed by Mars the red planet. This 10 day period would have coincided with the helical rising, the annual 10 day period when Sirius the dog star rises above the horizon at dawn, whose appearance began the Egyptian calendar. The slaughter of the year old lambs was in honour of the planet Mars, whose red appearance would equate this orb with the Egyptian god Zeph, the invisible one, known to the Egyptians as Satan, the red-haired man. Moses himself was held in high esteem by the Egyptian officials. The conclusion can be drawn that Moses was seen as symbolic of Seth, the evil uncle of Horus, the firstborn, the son of Osiris and Isis. The Egyptian magical rite connected with Seth was to slaughter an ass between the feet and to smear its blood on the hands and lips with the cloak wrapped around between the loins, with one arm held in front and the other arm held behind the back, and to recite the magical words calling for Seth the, the destroyer. The god Seth is also associated with the god Ash. Hence the reason all the lambs had to be burnt to cinders in honour of this god connected with Seth.
Passover therefore begins on the 15th day or the day of the full moon that occurs in the sign Capricorn during the solar month of Cancer around the time of the conjunction of the Sun with the star Sirius the dog star 15th of Tammuz festival of unleavened bread the eating of bread without yeast is marked by the sign that governs the stomach Cancerians having a tendency to suffer from fermentation in this area